Hello friends, it is Tuesday now, aka my last day of sweet freedom before I start my new job, which I'm obviously very excited about, but I'm gonna cherish this day of free time. On one hand, I just wanna chill and relax, but on the other hand, there are things that I feel like I should get done today because I don't know what my schedule's gonna look like later down the line, and I just wanna start this job like feeling fresh and feeling like there's nothing lingering that I need to take care of. Already just had a lovely quiet time and now I got a little daily planner, my little Kaweco fountain pen. I'm gonna start drafting out my to-do list for the day. Let's just, let's break it down. Okay, so right now, there's so many things I need to do today. Yeah, let's start with laundry. I'm gonna get some laundry done. Emails, and then I need to respond to DMs because I'm super behind. I kind of wanted to like pre-film and edit some TikToks. We'll see if that happens. The big thing that I really wanted to do today was to donate a bunch of clothes that I haven't been wearing slash know that I won't really be wearing much in the future. And then I wanted to start editing a vlog. Whew, y'all, I got a lot of work to do. This is what my ugly little handwriting looks like. This is what we're dealing with today. I just gathered up a bunch of clothes that I'm trying to give away slash donate slash sell, shoved it all in these bags, and we're gonna see if anyone will take it. I'm gonna go bring my clothes to the store and hope that they take some of it, but if not, there's a Goodwill somewhere near here where I can, of course, just donate. I'm gonna make a fun little day out of it. call this endeavor about 70% successful. I was able to sell some clothes. I got 40 bucks, you know, raking it in. And then when I went to Goodwill after to try to just donate the rest of my clothes, uh, there was some sort of like altercation happening outside where they closed the doors, were not letting anyone in until the person causing problems would leave and he wouldn't. So I just didn't feel safe like lingering around there. So. I'm just gonna donate the rest of my clothes sometime later. Um, but yeah, I'm really hungry and I'm kind of bummed that I was looking around trying to see if like there are any work appropriate clothes that I liked or anything like that that I could get thrifted. But honestly, some of the consignment stores here have gotten way more expensive than I remember. Alrighty, I'm home now and I think I'm going to cook and make some TikToks of what I'm making. Uh, the first one that I wanna make today is marinated kenny i think people also call it shiso or perilla leaf but it's a vegetable that's used in a lot of korean cuisine you eat it with a lot of rice korean barbecue when you wrap your meat and rice in a leaf and it's really good and i always get questions about this leaf in particular when i post it on instagram or on tiktok or youtube so i figured i'd just make a video about it the second tiktoks i'm gonna start making i think this week are like a bts cafe series where um i'll make like drinks either associated with bts or made by bts following their recipes that they've done so i uh, got some stuff to make some drinks whether it's like lattes or tea or cocktails okay i didn't film this for the vlog but i just filmed the tiktok of making these yuzu aid that he made in a v live for tiktok and i turned it into a cocktail just because and I have to say it's pretty fire I would drink this on my own you know for a good time 
I'm definitely a culprit of starting my laundry and then forgetting to fold it and it letting it get all wrinkly in the dryer so I'm gonna finish the laundry that I started this morning and catch up on some YouTube this is your Jung's most recent video. I'm a big fan. I feel like I just use these like menial tasks to catch up on YouTube videos. So. Also, I did edit my TikToks. I always forget to film when I'm editing on TikTok, but uh, I did do that. some boba cover it I'm gonna let it sit in this for probably like 20 minutes just so it like absorbs a little bit my new job ah I'm feeling big first day of school vibes to log on in five minutes to the training zoom session I made it through my first week on my new job. It's the weekend. I really am just trying to cherish my weekends because the weekdays are a lot more draining on this new job. They're just, they're just more demanding, like mentally. So I'm always really tired after work. I'm trying to keep up making content for y'all without like burning myself out. But I'm just really trying to find like the joy of making things, which is important. And I think that like, regardless of my full-time job, that's always a value I wanna have. But it's Sunday, I just got done with church and I actually came downtown because a boba shop here that I've gone to for ages invited me to come, just take some photos, get some boba, which was really, really sweet of them. So thank you so much to Charity. And I uh, am trying to look for some work shoes. I know that I will have to go into the office at some point you know in the near future so i want to be prepared and have my work clothes put together um so i'm just gonna spend some time at the mall with myself a little just me time i guess um looking for things that are work appropriate because literally i look like a 12 year old when i wear the clothes that i wore working at buzzfeed so <laughs> take a bunch of photos of myself with these drinks so I have my phone literally propped up on my tripod to try to get the optimal angle you know there's literally so many people walking by just watching me take photos of myself it's so embarrassing but I also need to get over it right I got free drinks, so like... Danielle and I just started watching The White Lotus. It's really good. Would recommend. Hee hee hee. 